Hello guys, Mike from here once again. Um, today we'll be playing Pursuit. Um, I have previously played this game. This is a nice little fun game where basically you go around destroying utterly everything with a death machine you get to build. So uh, I thought I'd replay through the first little area here, as you can see that I've destroyed, and try and conquer the second area because I haven't played it in a while. I haven't even started on the second area, but we'll start off with the first area. I'm thinking of doing for this a few, maybe up to five zones every episode. So we'll start off with the first zone. Um, basically in this game, you build a little tiny, you build a machine for each challenge, like each. So see this little house. Blow it up. Uh, you could use any type of machine you like. Um, this time I'd like to use because I've you know this is an easy mission basically tells you what to do on the side there. Do a little car, but I feel like I feel like doing something a little bit different. I feel like trying to figure out how to kill this thing in a cool way. Let's see. I wanna hmm, let me think about this. I could try and fly at it, if I wanted to I could. There's lots of different weapons, there's lots of different tools you could use. I could just burn it down, I could just shoot it. What I feel like doing is, start over my sim machine again, I got a better idea. Build it out a little bit further up front, like so. Build it like that, and stick it straight on the gun. Not even going to put any wheels on. And I'm going to move it that way, that way it's facing the actual thing. Then I'm going to get this thing called a hinge, so basically this wiggles backwards and uh, forwards. Then I'm going to put a two block, and a one block, and then some more two blocks back here. And I'm going to go to mechanical parts, so I'm going to put a skill to erase that. Put a spring down, and can I, yeah now I can. So basically that's going to make it so my device doesn't destroy itself. So Holder, and I'll put an explosive in it. And what you want to do is this is just to make a catapult. So if you want to do the same thing, this is very easy. All you do then is put these springs, basically, you just type. So, like, this will pull, and that's the whole point. So, if I press space, then I can show you that if I press L, boom, level complete, boom, zone conquered. You have finished the zone. Look at all the trumpets on the side and stuff. Next zone. Okay, so we've got the same thing now. I could use the same thing, but if you see, well, yeah, boom. I don't even need to change my visual. You can do that quite a bit with this game. You can easily clear the same zone over and over again. Now this zone, let's see. Huh? Not going to clear the zone. Not. See, I have to get this marker over there. So let's uh, let's try again. Let's start a new machine. Uh, this time, let's make a machine, let's see, make it like so, uh, I'm not going to follow these silly instructions, I play, so you have a reverse tabs up here, um, I want to, I want to try something different, let me, let me try something, I want to do something, if I put forwards and backwards wheels there, and then put wheels here, Okay, and now you got this tool which lets you like change what buttons you press. So, see this is up and down. Now if I turn this to, let me see, right, left and right, and then right, right and left. So I go put it to the ground and then go. Ah, ah, ah. Maybe if I. Maybe if I make the vehicle stronger it'll work. It didn't seem to work, they didn't like me. Ah, here we go. So now see these wheels go the wrong direction it seems. Nothing on the right direction. So now I can go wee. Oh, god. No. Oh. Sometimes the sheep will run into the bombs because they're trying to get to you. Sheep like to die. Whoops. I have to get to that and. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. My tank's broken. Ah! Quickly, quickly. Oh, yeah. Uh. Well, as you can see, I just died. So I, to... I think I can do this with this. So let's just turn a bit more. 
We'll stop and turn, that way we can turn more drastically. Get out of the bomb area before the sheep kill ya. This time, turn towards this and don't run into the bomb. Yeah, and boom, leveled up. Uh, next level, let's see. Okay, let's just see if I can uh, beat this level this machine. Let's do this. Seriously, you yeah, the ah, uh, ow, ow. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna. Ah. Oh. Okay, so. In this level, first thing you wanna do is be able to take out that wall. Now, you can see this little bomb right there. So, I have a little plan for, uh, for taking out this little wall here. And, uh,. You'll, you'll see it in a sec, you'll see it in a sec. I'm gonna put, actually I'm gonna put different wheels. So you got one type of wheel, and then you got these wheels that don't move. And you got moving wheels. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go left, right, right, left. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a AAA a, a cannon. Put it here, put it the ground, and go C. C, so the little cannon roll, we're gonna turn and go. See, if I had the wheels in the front, they wouldn't turn properly. So now what I gotta do is take out this house, and if I turn the right direction, and if I could get up, if I could just get up, oh, I broke. Okay. Let's see, what would we. What would be a weapon we could create to take out that area? Let's make it stronger here. Maybe put a hinge, a block, and then a sword. Yes, I'm using a sword. I personally love swords. I have one on my wall at the moment. What I think will happen is when I tap C, yeah, the sword will go in front of me. So watch it, if you watch that again, this thing, the little, this little thing here, it just stays there. So if I press space, it'll stay there, and if I press C, it'll bend forward. So uh, let's turn around again. I'll move the camera a bit for you guys. Uh, let's keep going. Don't want to touch the fire because if you do, your vehicle will just boom, burn on fire. Uh, at least we don't have to touch it now. We can just tap it with a sword, and hopefully, if I, well, what's happening? Okay, there's a there's a, there's a bowling ball under us. There we go. No, don't want to get the ball. It's stuck again. Just a turn. But turning. Okay, let's try and hit this. Ah! 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 The sword's not long enough. It only needs to be like a one block longer, and then it will work. So this level's taking me a little bit to do. Um, I think after this one, that'll be enough. And now, next one. We'll do the next one. This next one is the best one out of all of them, I think. Well, I haven't really played the new ones, so yeah. Uh, I like the next one a lot because you can do lots of things in the next one. Ah! Ah! Damn it! I need a more. I I got a better idea. I might try make a new weapon this time. If we just go, let's say we build. Uh, no. Let's build a mm, another weapon. There we go. So we can go to the market and make this set of C. Let's make it B. So, play, C. And we can start moving a bit, turn around, get to the first house, you can just hit it. And then, so basically, I got a cannon on the front, and then shotgun on the back. So if I move over here and go V, boom, level complete. We broke in half, but level still complete. And now this is the level we'll be leaving off on after we try. Don't know if we'll be able to complete this level because this level is hard. 
it's a bit tricky to figure out, but once you just make a death contraption of ultimate destruction, you kind of win here. Now, one thing I remember doing was making this really cool contraption where it spinned around and killed everything. But I might try and make something different. Let's see. What, what should I do? You know what? I'll leave this episode here, and I'll come back with some cool ideas to build an ultimate death machine to kill this level in instead. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time that we meet for a game, bruh. Hasta la vista. Or bye. Mike's out.